AMD's 9950X 3D and 9900X 3D get a release, incredible new AMD tech will change Ryzen forever. NVIDIA's got that D in the first RTX 5090 pre-order. Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, AMD isn't done with their 9000X3D series, as both the 9950X3D and 9900X3D are apparently on the way. The story originally comes from this leaker on Twitter who's been very accurate in the past when it comes to AMD leaks, and as you can see, he claims that the 16 core and 12 core X3D chips are set for release late January, likely set to announce them at CES. And obviously those should be the 9950X3D and 9900X3D, given AMD has stuck to their naming scheme with the already released 9800X3D. With that said, the leaker also had something to say about AMD's chiplet design. If you remember not too long ago, rumors began circulating that the higher end X3D parts would come with 3D vCache on both chiplets, unlike the 7000 series. Well, the leaker was actually asked about this, to which he responded that it's going to be the same as last gen, meaning that only one chiplet with 8 or 6 cores depending on the CPU can actually utilize that cache. Remember that AMD does this because it's just not worth the price increase to give 3D vCache to both chiplets. Still, what's interesting about these is that the new stat cache design allows both chiplets to get roughly the same multi-threaded performance, meaning you don't have to pick between gaming and professional workloads this time around. The X3D chips can do both. And next up, I've been waiting on it for a while, but Qi 2 is finally here. And that means 15 watt wireless fast charging, better efficiency, wide compatibility. It's basically what wireless charging should have always been. And today's sponsor just released their brand new 10,000 milliamp hour Uno magnetic wireless power bank. I'm of course talking about Ugreen. And their new power bank is Qi2 certified with a really awesome design that comes with a built-in stand, you can see it right here, a smart display with fun status emojis, and it can fully charge an iPhone 16 Pro 1.6 times. But that's not even all they're launching. They also have their Ugreen Uno Charger 100 Watt, which as the name suggests, offers 100 watt high power charging through the C1 or C2 port for charging your MacBook Pro or say an iPhone 16 from zero to 57% in 30 minutes. It also comes with three USB-C ports and one USB-A port, a compact design and their awesome smart display. And today, Ugreen's having their huge Black Friday deals event, so check the links out in the description to get yours and save a bunch of money. Once again, check out that link in the description below. And next up for today, AMD recently filed a new patent that shows us their plans for future CPUs. And let's just say this bad boy is on another level. The story originally comes from a post by Cortex on X. Now, What's interesting about it is that it details AMD's next-gen packaging design. As you can see here, we have a dotted line, which Cortex originally thought would be on top of these chiplets. But instead, when you look here, you can see that it's actually underneath them. And this is essentially AMD's multi-chip stacking tech, and it's something the company has been planning for quite a while. Basically, instead of using an infinity fabric to connect chiplets to one another, AMD is stacking chips on top of each other. In this case, you can actually see that they're overlapping this big chip right here. Once again, these dashed lines is this really big chip, and then these little ones are the chiplets. The benefits of doing this are numerous. I'm talking massively raising how fast chips can talk to one another, which in turn lowers latency, then it frees up space for additional components like cache, more cores, all of that. It also helps with efficiency, it improves power management. It's basically a huge step forward in every way. Let's just say Intel is in some serious trouble. Next up, as NVIDIA's RTX 5000 GPUs get closer and closer to launch, we're learning exactly what NVIDIA has planned, with today including confirmation on SKUs, the actual logo type, as well as their pick for the D. That's right, 
like the company's 4090D, which was created specifically to get around US restrictions on computational power to China, Nvidia is also planning to release an RTX 5090D. This story comes from Megasize GPU, who's an account on Twitter that's leaked a ton of packaging and labels in the past that have proven to be very accurate. And this time, as you can see, he shows us the D, specifically the 5090D logo. And obviously it doesn't look much different from the 4090D. Now, many of you may not know that the D is for dragon. Get your head out of the gutter. And that's because of the year of the dragon in China. Now, you might be thinking next year isn't the year of the dragon, but technically it doesn't end until January 28th. So this further proves that Nvidia is almost certainly set to release their next gen GPUs early next year. Let's just hope it's not the most expensive D ever. And lastly for today, the first pre-order for NVIDIA's next-gen RTX 5090 has officially been announced. Unfortunately, it's been announced by a server company, proving that gaming GPUs are being used for AI more and more. So I wouldn't expect prices to go down anytime soon. I mean, first it was mining with the crypto craze, but Ethereum has since gone proof of stake, so there's not any kind of huge demand there for gaming GPUs, but now AI is getting bigger and bigger which means companies are doing whatever they can to get more computational power. Either way, as you can see right down here, it says, Camino is excited to open pre-orders for our next generation liquid-cooled workstations and servers featuring the NVIDIA RTX 5090 GPUs. Says it's, quote, designed for top performance, these systems are trusted by leading companies and reviewers. Built to thrive in harsh environments of up to 40C, they deliver 100% performance and beyond 24-7. Also, unfortunately, while the company is giving out additional information, apparently they're also giving out estimates, but you have to fill in a form first. It says the estimated time of availability will be provided upon the description of a project that the machine will be used for. So you can't just fill this thing out and say, hey, I want one, even though you don't. You actually really have to go into detail with them. But regardless, the information apparently is there. It's just really hard to get it. Still, with the fact that they're comfortable doing pre-orders right now and they actually are giving out information, clearly these GPUs are coming and coming soon. So while that does it for today, are you getting excited for NVIDIA's next-gen GPUs or are you more looking forward to X3D parts from AMD? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out those awesome Ugreen deals down in the description below. And as always, have a great day.